In this video, I'll be concentrating on differentiation in C3 and in particular the chain rule. The chain rule is defined as dy dx is equal to du dx multiplied by dy du. This, the right hand side is equivalent to the left hand side since these two du's do cancel out. Okay, um, it would be ideal just to memorize this law. Um, just pause the video if you want, make a note of it and just memorize it. Okay, so the chain rule is basically used when you have a square term or when you have a function of a function. Okay, so for example, if I was to say to differentiate y is equal to sine x, we would say dy dx is equal to cos x. This is just a simple case of differentiation and it's a given result. Now, what happens if I said y is equal to sine squared x? In this case, we've got a power term, and we can't just say dy dx is equal to cos squared x. In this case, we would use the chain rule. I've got a couple of examples lined up on the next couple of pages. Um, they all emphasize different cases where the chain rule is used, um, and I'll start off with the first one. I hope you understand them. So, in this case, we've example one, we've got y is equal to sine squared x. So, what is the recipe to solving, um, to start to use the chain rule? So, the first thing we say is, we need to define u. We say u is equal to the term that's being squared, in this case, sine x. So we say u is equal to sine x. Therefore, y would be equal to, since u is equal to sine x, y is equal to sine squared x, y would be equal to u squared. Just looking at the rule here, we need to differentiate u with respect to x. So we say du dx is equal to cos x. By the rule again, we need to differentiate with respect to u. So dy du is equal to 2u. The chain rule then says to multiply these two results together. So therefore, dy dx is equal to cos x multiplied by 2u. <clears throat> this dot is just another way of saying times multiplication. Okay, so since we want everything in terms of x and y, um, and we know that u is equal to sine x, we can say dy dx is equal to 2, and I'm bringing this u down, so u is equal to sine x, sine x, cos x. So the answer is 2 sine x, cos x. Okay, so that's example 1 done. I've got two more examples. In this case, um, we've got y is equal to 2x squared plus 4, and the whole thing is cubed. So the term, this term here is being cubed. So we would say u is equal to 2x squared plus 4. And then say v, uh, sorry, y is equal to u cubed. Again, we will differentiate first of all with respect to x, the new term here. And so this is equal to 4x. And then do dy du is equal to 3u squared. Multiply those two terms together these two together, we get 4x multiplied by 3u squared. Okay, so this is equal to 12x and u is equal to 2x squared plus 4 all squared. So that's example 2 now. I'll move on to example 3. This is the last example. Um, this is the case of like a function of a function. Okay, so we've got sine is a function and 2x is another function. Okay, so what you do is you separate the functions as two separate parts. So in this case, we would say u is equal to this function here, yeah, which is 2x, and therefore say y is equal to sine u. We would therefore say du dx is equal to 2 and dy du is equal to cos u. Okay, so therefore, dy dx would be equal to 2 cos u, and since we know what u is, 2x, we can say 2 cos 2x. And that's the differential of y equals sine 2x. Um, again, with this chain rule, the best thing is to practice, memorize the rule, and just do as many questions as you can. I hope this gives you a basis of how to start and when to use the chain rule. I hope I've helped. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. Bye.